Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's going to be my first video for Diablo 3. Uh, I want to talk about the new patch that's coming out. Uh, I got to play a little bit in the PTR on both the Demon Hunter and the Barbarian. In this video, I'll be showing you about the Barbarian. Uh, some of the changes, uh, you know, they're very awesome. I'm, I really love the new Barbarian gameplay far more than what we're currently playing right now. Uh, skills are pretty much the same. Most people have used, you know, the physical builds, the fire builds for the Barbarian. Um, you know, ultimately, my favorite one was the fire until you started getting up into the higher rifts in this current uh, Diablo uh, patch that we're playing in. But this new one that's coming out, I went back to my fire build from the physical. And my very, very first try, I tried a 40 just to see kind of what happened. And, I mean, I feel like I demolished it. Uh, it was great. Uh, my skills are the same. Furious Charge is easier for us. You can just keep on moving. Um, as everybody knows, uh, we cannot drag people anymore. And, you know, at first I thought, man, that kind of sucks. You know, it's kind of great to bring mobs together. But what was really great about this patch that that's coming out, and I hope they keep it, is the density and in, in the rifts are fantastic. Um, it makes up for the dragging. And, you know, what what you could do with this is, you can just keep moving mobs to mobs, and what I did in this video <clears throat> is I just kept moving forward. Sometimes I'd find some mobs, I'd stay with it, I'd attack them, and, and you know, once they kind of uh, locked on to me, if you want to call it that, they eventually would follow you. And <clears throat> you do still need to have at least three or more people on you to make your Furious Charge completely successful, non-stop. Uh, that has not changed. Um... It's it's no different really on what we're currently used to. Just keep on moving forward. Don't let the mobs. Uh, just don't focus on one thing. Just keep on moving forward. They'll follow you, especially the elites and the champions. Um, now the cool thing also that we do learn about this uh, new PTR that's, that's in development, you know, is we take less damage as barbarians now. Fire chains and stuff used to just absolutely destroy us like instantly. Now, they still hurt, but it's not as bad as it was. Most elemental stuff is not bad. Um, so, that is a plus also. Gems. I think cooldowns are going to be another factor that we're going to probably get rid of on the Barbarian. Now, I wouldn't completely get rid of cooldown, but as everybody has used the Gogok of Swiftness... Um, you know, we relied on that extra cooldown to continue using Furious Charge. But see, Furious Charge now has a, a counter so that it can have up to two charges non-stop. Especially when you got three plus mobs on you, uh, three plus monsters on you. You can constantly just keep using that Furious Charge. It's fantastic. The gems that I'm using now, since I'm not using Gogok, I switched my Hellfire Amulet with the socket um, to a Poison Necklace. I have not yet found a Fire Necklace. But I have gone to the poison necklace, um, and luckily my first boss was a poison boss, and it worked out great. Uh, but the two gems that I'm using are the you can use pain enhancer, um, mirane. Um, also, you could use uh, man. Uh, what's another one people use? I've seen people use the toxin, but I'm not sure how much that one would really pan out. Uh, but I'm not certain. I know everything's still in beta. Everyone's still trying to figure out what the best is, and I'm sure people are going to come out with fantastic uh, stuff in this game, but definitely using the Pain Enhancer, uh, the Mirane, those are, those are wonderful. Um, also, of course, you cannot forget the Bane of the Trapped. Uh, that's a, that's a no-brainer. <clears throat> also, a uh, thing that you guys just saw in this video is I just died for the first time right there. Um, a really cool feature I think is kind of neat, as long as you don't die constantly, is you can revive your first death instantly right where you just died. Um, that's awesome. Uh, it will save us a hell of a lot of time running back from the beginning to your spot. Every time you die, it adds five seconds to your counter. Now... That can be very deadly the more you die. So I have tested it out just to see dying up to the 30 second count point. And man, does those 30 seconds, do those 30 seconds just feel like forever for it to just revive yourself? 
Uh, and, you know, every second counts in these greater rifts, you know. It puts you further up on the leaderboards. I mean, even just by one second, you can pass someone. Very crucial. Also, in the, the video right now, you see I'm, I'm fighting a, a champion. The mobs are okay. Um, but the lightning hurts. I will die right here. Uh, I mean, lightning, frozen, I mean, all of that still affects us barbarians. So what you need to do in situations like this is still the same concept. Just run. Just get out of there. And luckily I had a speed pylon. Um, I just got out of there as quick as I could. I want to attack some guys, get them locked on to me, get them, you know, going, and then just you just create more mobs. Just create your new group since you can no longer drag. Uh, it's It'll definitely help you out, though. I mean, just keep moving. Keep that density going. What else do I need to cover for this new thing? Uh, passives. Uh, some of the passives that I chose were all damage. You know, some of us used to use superstition and some of those things, maybe iron skin or any of those things for extra toughness when we would fight if we were having trouble surviving in the, the current Diablo 3 um, updates that we have right now. But this new PTR, like I said, I went to the fire build where there is more damage, but you're, you have less toughness. So on my passives, I went all uh, I went all pure damage, and I can give a description of all my builds and everything um, below in this video. You guys can check me out. Uh, if you guys ever have questions too, you, you're always welcome to comment, um, ask me, and I'll, I'll be more than help, uh, happy to help you guys out. As you can tell, the timer's halfway, and this is a level forty. Um, you can just kill things so much faster in this new update. It's great. Uh, it works out fantastic. You do need to leave some time, though, for the boss. Uh, as we all know, single targets with barbarians suck. But um, now that we've got the Furious Charge, where it regenerates itself a lot faster, it's not based on the cooldown, I mean, it, it, it does help out. And also, Frenzy. Frenzy now can stack up and help you and help with your attack speed. So I'm wondering, we're probably going to need to have attack speed factored into some of our stuff to increase our frenzy when we do need it. And I think most of the time we're only going to need frenzy for probably bosses. Um, because if you're in regular mobs, I would just keep moving forward, like I said before, and just keep using that furious charge. Call out your ancients as much as possible. I've got the fire ancients. And, you know, they, they do a tremendous amount of damage. I used to be, you know, like, every time I'd have the Ancients out, I, I would only do maybe, like, 2 billion or something damage to monsters. Now I've seen damage up to, like, 7 billion or more. Uh, so definitely you can see the boss's health drop a lot more with these guys. Um, Ancient Parthon Defenders also will help out still. Um, and I've also, I've tried both Ancient Parthon Defenders and the Strong Arm Bracers, and they both work great. I'm sticking with the Ancient Parthon Defenders just to have some type of toughness since I'm going pure damage. Uh, it just seems more logical to me. Um, and as I said before, I'm using the, the Poison Necklace to help, and luckily, like I said, this Rift Guardian is poison. Um, I have noticed, <clears throat> and as I'm sure most of you have, most of these uh, bosses typically... Arcane, Poison, Fire is mostly what I see. There is that one Lightning boss, and but if I had to choose, it would definitely be the Poison or the Fire Necklace to be wearing. That's my personal opinion. Um, arcane Necklaces are great. I, I think more so for the Demon Hunter before, like getting, you know, jailed or any of that type of stuff. Um, but... Just keep on tacking. Uh, this this new update will come. I will post more videos about all these new updates. This was just my first time ever getting on the PTR, and this was my first shot checking out the Barbarian, and I successfully beat a level 40. So I'm going to shoot for higher, and I will continue making better videos to help everybody out there so we can all succeed. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, Please help me out, subscribe, comment, like, and you guys again are welcome to contact me if you guys have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions on any videos to make. Um, I'll be making my next video just right after this one for the Demon Hunter. I also did a level 40 on the Demon Hunter and beat it successfully. So uh, yeah, just, just uh, follow me around and uh, 
I'll help you guys out as much as I can. It's been fun. Thanks, guys.